the the no consensus, uh, Henry, is uh, was uh, was not uh, with respect to uh, the South China Sea and how that's to be moved forward. The no consensus uh, issue arose uh, as a result of a uh, conversation uh, among the. Uh, well, it was a, uh, a discussion, actually, on, uh, on ASEAN unity. Uh, and uh, uh, there was a suggestion uh, from uh, one country that uh, perhaps uh, ASEAN unity can be uh, promoted uh, in terms of uh, uh, not internationalizing uh, the South China Sea issue. And uh, there were several other uh, items that were discussed. And in summarizing the discussion at the end of the meeting, uh, the chair uh, translated uh, the intervention on uh, not internationalizing into a consensus uh, that uh, in the future uh, we will not uh, internationalize uh, the South China Sea issue. Uh, we, of course, uh, objected to that. Uh, we, we, uh, we said that uh, uh, the discussion uh, did take place, uh, but uh, the fact that uh, there was a consensus reached, that was not our understanding. And uh, I, I wrote a letter to the, uh, uh, to the uh, chair, no, uh, to the, the foreign minister of Cambodia, explaining our position. And uh, the chair uh, later brought it up uh, on the assumption that there was a, uh, um, a consensus reach. And the president, of course, uh, expressed uh, his, uh, uh, his view that uh, there was no such consensus. So that's the no consensus, therefore, applied only to internationalizing the issue. Uh, we are, as far as the internationalizing of the issue and the consensus uh, question that arose uh, because of that, uh, it, it only applies to that topic. It doesn't apply to, uh, to our standing alone in terms of uh, how we move the, the uh, South China Sea issues forward. As a matter of fact, uh, we are, uh, in relation to your question, uh, Henry, uh, we did um, uh, move forward an initiative when we said that we would try to, uh, we would endeavor to get the claimant states together uh, and see how uh, we could uh, have a discussion uh, in terms of how to address the disputes. And uh, I'm happy to say that uh, we have been successful in doing that. Uh, that was uh, confirmed by the claimant states uh, yesterday whom we had approached, namely Malaysia, uh, Brunei, and uh, Vietnam. So uh, the four claimant states, including the Philippines, uh, will be meeting uh, at the vice ministerial level. Uh, this is the level of uh, USEC uh, Linda Basilio. And this meeting will actually take place on December 12th and we have asked them to come to Manila, and they have acceded to do that. So there will be a beginning of uh, four party talks uh, in Manila starting December 12th. Uh, I think there are different definitions of uh, internationalizing. Uh, uh, China, uh, in their discussions with us, uh, would like uh, the, the uh, West Philippine Sea issues uh, to be discussed uh, only in, on a bilateral basis. And they have said to us that uh, uh, we should not go to the press, uh, we should not uh, discuss this with, uh, with any other, we should not discuss this on a multilateral basis, we should not discuss it with international partners. Uh, effectively, we should not discuss it externally. Uh, of course, we, we, uh, we respect uh, uh, what they're suggesting, but uh, we're saying that uh, uh, we do not accept this because uh, we view the uh, situation in the South China Sea as uh, being uh, threats to uh, stability and security in the region. 
and uh, we feel that uh, because there are uh, uh, a voluminous amount of trade uh, that uh, traverses uh, the, those oceans and because uh, more than half of the world sea tonnage goes to that area, we believe that uh, this is not a, a uh, bilateral uh, issue. It's not even a regional issue. It is an international issue. And uh, I think uh, this was also uh, demonstrated when we went to ASAM. And uh, in ASAM, uh, there were discussions uh, that we had heard that uh, this has become a, uh, an international issue because uh, there are questions in terms of uh, whether insurance premiums actually are going up for the uh, shipping companies uh, as a result of the uh, perceived uh, threats uh, in the South China Sea. The, a good scenario is, uh, is whether uh, we can, on a multilateral basis amongst the four of us, uh, discuss issues that, uh, that uh, confront the four claimants. If we can, for example, uh, discuss the limitation uh, uh, solutions to uh, areas where we have disputes with each other, uh, that certainly was, would be a, uh, a good result to that initiative. Well, I think, I think uh, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to demonstrate that uh, uh, we can endeavor to, uh, to uh, uh, discuss uh, and we're willing to do this. Uh, and we are willing to do this either within ASEAN or outside of ASEAN. Uh, it, is, it, is a, uh, it is, I think, a, a constructive and a, uh, a, a practical approach to uh, settling or trying to settle the disputes among the four of us. I think that uh, we are uh, endeavoring to do our best to keep it within ASEAN because, as you know, we recommended this uh, as early as last year. Uh, it was not taken up uh, and uh, we are uh, hoping that uh, this can be done under the auspices of ASEAN. Uh, but we don't think we should be limited in terms of finding solutions uh, uh, to our disputes among the four of us. Uh, and, and to, uh, if, we can, if we don't uh, accomplish uh, uh, a, uh, this effort that we're trying to make within ASEAN, I think there are no objections to doing it without the CN, or outside of the CN rather. It was a, a consensus uh, by all uh, to, uh, to be able to uh, have a full and uh, effective implementation of the DOC. And as an extension and moving forward uh, uh, on a parallel basis, uh, actually, we are prepared we have, we do have a consensus as well in terms of uh, being able to uh, uh, read, to be ready to uh, discuss with China the elements uh, that had been approved uh, at the ASEAN level. So we're pushing for a, uh, an immediate uh, formal discussion or one that uh, can be undertaken as soon as possible with China. We're waiting for uh, for China to, uh, to tell us uh, when they're ready. Uh, I, I think uh, I had mentioned earlier that uh, there was a consensus in terms of uh, a uh, full and uh, effective implement implementation of the DOC. Uh, I also said that there was a consensus in terms of uh, moving forward the COC uh, as soon as possible, uh, given that the elements uh, are there for ready for discussion with China. Uh, and that uh, another way forward uh, for us would be to uh, uh, begin to get uh, the claimants together, the four claimants together, to be able to explore how we can amongst ourselves uh, be able to resolve uh, the disputes uh, that uh, present a challenge to all four of us. I think, I think the President has, has taken the consistent view that uh, uh, the bilateral consultation is, is one of the uh, tools uh, to uh, move us forward, but uh, we, we need to pay attention to the fact that uh, there are many claimants and uh, it has to be uh, settled on a multilateral basis.
I think it's uh, one of the uh, viable options to, to move the issue forward in terms of a peaceful resolution. So it is something that uh, we, we'd like to show confidence in to see if uh, it can be worked out.